Number 9. Rosetta Stone This is a discovery that many still find shocking to this day. During one of Napoleon's campaigns where he tried to take over Egypt, near the town of Rosetta, a group of soldiers was working on a fort when they decided to take down a certain mysterious wall. Pierre-Francois Bouchard was there, and when the wall fell, he found a slab of stone that was unlike anything he'd seen before. It had writing on it, but it was in different languages, including one he recognized. This was the discovery of the Rosetta Stone. Upon its finding in Egypt in 1799, researchers immediately took it for additional study, and the stone was dated to 2 BC, which was ironic because it had three languages written on it. The first was hieroglyphics, the symbols seen on Egyptian tombs and pyramids. Then there was Demotic, another Egyptian language, but the third was Greek. Due to the French being defeated in their wars at the time, the British got the Rosetta Stone into their possession, which led to Jean-Francois Champollion and Thomas Young examining and deciphering it all. Through the Greek part, they were able to translate both sections of the Egyptian text, and through this, the world now had a way to decipher the past of Egypt. That's something that, quite frankly, was impossible to do before. Fast forward to now, and the Rosetta Stone continues to be the backbone of certain translation discoveries within Egypt. And just think, none of that would have been possible if they didn't bring that wall down. It makes you want to start knocking down drywall in your own house to see what mysteries might lie behind it, no? Well, I wouldn't do that if I were you, unless you like repairing drywall. Number 8. Lascaux Cave there are many caves in the world today, and many of them are unexplored. So it's not surprising when a group of teenagers wandered into a cave and found art that was truly historic. This particular accidental discovery happened in France in 1940. And these particular kids weren't looking for a cave, rather they were roaming around the forests near Montagnac. Suddenly, one of their dogs got a scent of something and the teens followed it, until they found the entrance to a cave. One of the teens went into the cave that they found, and to his surprise, he found himself looking at thousands of cave paintings. At first, the group decided to keep this secret to themselves for a while, so they could explore it. But, eventually, they told their school teacher about their find, and that teacher informed an expert about it, and the cave was later verified as 100% real and authentic once it had been evaluated. It was, in fact, full of legitimate cave paintings from thousands of years ago. After some research and study about the place, it was later labeled the Sistine Chapel of the Prehistoric Art, and made open to the public for viewing. Even more fascinating, though, is that estimates on the art put it at 15,000 to 17,000 years old. That makes it not just a shocking discovery, but one that literally paints a picture of ancient times. Number 7 terracotta army. In China in 1974, the tomb of the first Chinese emperor of the Qin dynasty was discovered. The team knew though that there had to be more to the tale of this emperor and the tomb that he had been put in, so they started digging around. When they did, they found something they most definitely didn't expect. The tomb was full of statues made out of terracotta, but they didn't find one or two, Rather, there were 8,000 terracotta statues positioned around the tomb of the emperor. That raised a lot of questions, not the least of which was, why? The answer to that can be found in the beliefs of the Chinese people at the time. You see, the followers of Emperor Qin Shi Huang wanted him to be protected in the afterlife, which was something that many cultures believed in and prepared for, so they buried him with an army. Why? So that he would have loyal followers at his side after dying should he need it. Every single member of the Terracotta Army had its own unique face. It just goes to show you the lengths and devotion of his loyal followers that they would work in such minute details. Which is further compounded by the fact that chariots and horses were also crafted. This whole grave site is now a historical landmark, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and an important archaeological source of information about ancient China during the Qin Dynasty, over 2200 years ago. Number 6. Ulubarun Shipwreck In 1982, a diver was swimming around looking for sponges, the animal species, not the cleaning material, when he found something he didn't expect. A ship. Specifically, a very old ship. One that was clearly from a few millennia gone by. Much of the body of the ship had been worn away and destroyed over time, 
but you could still see parts of the ship, and inside of its degraded hull were loads of treasures. That included blocks of metal like tin and copper, as well as blocks of glass. But just as impressive, there were historical items from the Bronze Age. Over the course of the next 10 years, archaeologists and historians descended on what they called the Uluburun Shipwreck, as it was found in the Uluburun coast off Turkey, and they soon were able to date the entire craft back to the time of Egypt some 3,300 years ago, even having a scarab bearing the name of the legendary Queen Nefertiti. That firmly makes it one of the oldest shipwrecks ever found, and a true marvel of a discovery. I don't know about you, but finding an ancient shipwreck like that? It would make me uneasy. What do you think? Number 5. The Venus de Milo On the Greek island of Milos in the year 1820, a man named Yorgos Kentrotas was digging around looking for marble for building blocks. As he continued to dig though, he discovered a part of a statue that is now known as the Venus de Milo. Proving that fate works in mysterious ways, there was a man near the discovery named Olivier Voutier, and he was part of the French Navy. Upon seeing this find, he convinced Kentrotas to help him in digging up the statue. After understanding the importance of the statue, Vautier went to the French ambassador of the Ottoman Empire and had him purchase it. The statue was then given as a gift to King Louis XVIII who gave it to the Louvre. This piece is considered one of the greatest works of ancient Greek sculptures, and was made by Alexandros of Antioch. It's believed to be a sculpture of the Greek goddess Aphrodite, who is the goddess of love and fertility. Here's the irony though, the placement of the arms on the Venus de Milo are still a mystery. We know where they go obviously, but we don't know what they were doing in the context of this statue. While we're never likely to find out that answer, the fact that the Venus de Milo was recovered at all is something the art world is grateful for. And to think that it all happened by accident, while a common man was searching for building material. Number 4. Mysterious Fossilized Monster Finding fossils in weird places is honestly nothing new, but when they reveal that there may have been a creature alive that we didn't know about, that's a different story, one that was told in Mason Creek, Illinois. The area was already famous for fossils as they were discovered during mining operations in the early 1800s, but then in 1950 a specific fossil was found, and inside of it was a perfectly preserved creature that was unlike anything ever recorded. In fact, no one can even classify it in terms of species. It's a complete mystery. This is because its body had toothy pincers at the end, two eyes on stalks, a segmented body, and a finned tail. That combination is not a set of features that immediately stick out in biologists' minds. It's totally weird. You'd think that after decades of study there would be more information on this creature, but there isn't. However, a strange benefit that came from this adventure was Illinois making this creature into its official state fossil. Have you ever discovered the remains of an animal that made you scratch your head? Where did you find it? Do you think you know what it is now? Or are you still unsure? Tell me your story in the comments below. Then remember to subscribe to The Biggest if you haven't already for more intense videos just like this one. Number 3. Lyceum The famous Greek philosopher Plato was, arguably, one of the most influential men of all time, a major force in determining how we think, even today. He was so instructive that he actually made the first university in the Western world called the Academy. Plato had a pupil named Aristotle, who was another legend of philosophy and ancient science among other things. He too went on to create a school, and his was called the Lyceum. But sadly, as time went on and knowledge passed from generation to generation, the exact location of the Lyceum was lost, and it could not be found for some time. Fast forward to 1997, and the Greeks were in for a shock. That's because they went to a piece of land, which was an unpaved parking lot, believe it or not, and decided to dig it up so that they could put in a new museum for the arts. But as they did, they started to find ruins. Ruins of the Lyceum. The courtyard and some of the sports areas, including a wrestling arena, were found, and a great piece of history was rediscovered. This is what makes researching history and seeking out pieces of it so interesting to some. Given how the world has changed over the years, you wouldn't expect a find like this in a place that was a parking lot, and yet, there it was, 
a piece of history returned to its people. Number 2. Herculaneum The legend of Pompeii revolved around the volcano known as Mount Vesuvius. One day, about 2,000 years ago, it erupted violently and destroyed the entire city of Pompeii. But what people didn't know or remember at the time is that the volcano also destroyed another city, Herculaneum. This city was lost for centuries under the soot and grime and ash that Vesuvius spewed. Then, in the 18th century, a farmer was working his land and doing some digging when he found some marble in the ground that he couldn't explain. He continued to dig and he soon found that his land was right on top of Herculaneum. Naturally, this discovery changed a lot of things for a lot of people, and both robbers, historians, and archaeologists descended on the city to try and learn more about it and get to the treasure. The city, ironically enough, was preserved perfectly because of the ash and soot, and its findings have helped reveal more of the tale of Pompeii and what happened to the land during the eruption period. It was valuable not just as a source of expensive artifacts, but also as a source of scientific knowledge. Number 1. The Dead Sea Scrolls Religious artifacts are one of the most iconic types of treasure, and are held in the highest regard. They could be from a former religious visionary, or documents that help tell of the stories within certain religions, but either way, people take notice when these items are discovered. In 1947, one of the most important religious documents of all time was found by accident, the Dead Sea Scrolls. What's more, this very important piece of religious history was found by teenagers. They were near the city of Jericho, and one of the goats they were looking over got lost. So, naturally, the teenagers went to go and find the goat. As they did, they found a cave, and, wondering if the goat was in there, one of the teenagers threw a rock into the opening, and he broke a pot. He went into the cave and found several more pots, and within them were papyrus scrolls. Scrolls that were, in fact, some of the earliest known pieces of the Bible. Numerous chapters were within these scrolls, and each of them was a piece of history in the biggest way. Funnily enough, the teenagers weren't exactly sure about the value of this find. So, they went into town and sold it for what they could. But then, they were tested and found to be true ancient documents. A massive search for more of these scrolls was started. By the end, they had found thousands of papyrus scrolls, from scraps to full texts. The Dead Sea Scrolls are held in the highest regard, and are considered one of the greatest finds in all of the 20th century. They spawn controversy and fascination even today. And again, they were found by complete accident. Thank you all for watching. Can you believe that such amazing pieces of history were found by people who didn't mean to discover them? Which ones are the most shocking in your mind? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time right here on The Biggest.